Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And today we are working on a little home decor project. So I'm actually going to be making over this dining room. I'm putting in a washable rug, new chairs, new curtains, tying everything together. This little area, it's kind of like a nook, was actually just all leftover pieces from my last house. You know what I mean? Curtains from the craft room, rug from the kitchen, chairs from the dining nook, nothing that went together. So <laughs> we are going to be replacing some of those items today so that it's a more cohesive feeling, especially since this nook opens into the kitchen and the living room. So everything needs to flow nicely together. So let's get started, starting with an introduction to why I want a washable rug in the first place. If you guys are new here, this is sugar and cinnamon. That's their sister, Biddy. And they are the reason this rug has got to go. Cinnamon is a year old. And despite being kenneled at night and my best efforts with a dog door, this indoor outdoor rug, it still attracts them like nobody's business. So we're gonna, we're gonna get it washed and it's gonna go live out on the porch for a while. Instead, I've got a new washable rug on its way and we are going to put this tablescape away. I've got a brand new one in that bag that I'm getting ready to set. I'm gonna put a new rug down, I've got new curtains. We're gonna give this whole little space a little refresh. Y'all, I am so excited about that washable rug. Let's get to this. This is Fat Thor. He is, he is the other reason we need washable rugs or no rugs. We're gonna hope these washable rugs are the answer. All right, y'all, so what do you think? So originally I just planned to add in the washable rug and I absolutely love how this rug looks and fits the space. It's actually, let me get you a closer look. Really low pile. I'm guessing that's how it's good for being washable. 
but it's not fuzzy at all. I've actually washed it. You can check out the blog post to see how that works. So far, I absolutely love it. But as you can see, once I added the rug, the old curtains just didn't go anymore. So instead I switched them out for these gray linen curtains. Still need to hang the long ones. These are the ones for the kitchen. And then added these gray tufted chairs that I absolutely love. They match the bar stools in the kitchen. And I think they just really tie the entire room together. So I hope you guys liked this little refresh. I'm just calling it a refresh because it wasn't a total room makeover. I'm obviously still using the main components, the big blue pie safe, the table, um, the main pieces of furniture in here, as well as most of the decor is still the same, but it looks so much better. If you guys liked this project, stay tuned. I actually have an entire tutorial coming on how I set up my new tablescape this summer mermaid thing which is really cute and I even have a tutorial how to make these cute little drink stirrers for the tablescape with your Cricut. So if you want to see any of that it will be coming out soon. Bye y'all!